530. We literally take a deep dive in Groton. Yeah, we are a very rare look at the Naval Submarine Medical Research Lab that's now celebrating its 75th anniversary. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. Here's Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan. The Navy sub base here in Groton is a sprawling complex, but there's one facility here that is very unique. To celebrate the Naval Submarine Medical Research Lab's 75th anniversary, we were allowed a rare inside look as researchers studied the performance of divers and their reaction to real-world scenarios, such as these divers pedaling a bicycle for 90 minutes while working on an underwater iPad. One of the big goals of our research program is to better understand how working in these complex environments affects a diver's mental and physical abilities. Enabled. Three, two, one. One, or using an underwater air cannon to see how sudden sound waves impact submariners. So we try to provide any kind of uh, safety guidance and recommendations and then also collect data to help improve those uh, recommendations. There's a hyperbaric chamber which made landmark discoveries in the early 1960s. And in these hyperbaric environments, divers can go in there, we close the hatch, and that's pressurized to simulate feet of seawater. My favorite is the anechoic chamber, a room with no sound, which is designed to help prevent noise-induced hearing loss. BB. SH. Open your mouth like you're surprised. Looking into the future, scientists are using facial recognition and high-tech wrist monitors, not yet available, to monitor emotions. It's for human integration of the crew on board a sub to determine if there are issues. Engagement, joy. Yes. Anger, really. <laughs> Make a, like a furrowed eyebrows. Yes. Try doing that, like, so try to maybe, look angry, like, yeah. Well, you got a little bit. To mimic sunlight, submariners wear these special blue light glasses for the first 45 minutes after waking up so they can get their circadian rhythm in check. I think they do make me feel more awake. With the Mobile Newsroom in Groton, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.